Hi there, Doggy Dan here from theonlinedogtrainer.com. This video from Project Moses is all about, there's little Moses, it's all about basically how we set up my home for the arrival of uh, little Moses. Here's the rooms we had to work with, living room, dining room, kitchen, kitchen. There's the outdoor area. Now, this is where you've really got to think, almost before you get your puppy, where do you want him to go toilet? It's one of the biggest considerations to where you set him up. Obviously, most people want their puppy to go toilet on the grass. So for me, it was a no-brainer. Getting him right near these doors was really important. There's no one single rule applies. Some people may be happy for their puppy to go toilet on the decking to start with. For me, the real decision was whether I should roll up this carpeted area, and there's a lino underneath, and put his pen in this area, or whether to leave this carpet down and really monitor him carefully and set him up on the wooden floor. I decided I'd set myself a little bit of a challenge of making sure he doesn't pee on the carpet because I could have put him in this corner we're looking at now, right next to the door, which would have made it probably even easier for myself. I'd have rolled up the carpet, but uh, you know, the wooden floor is great. We did have a big rug there. We've rolled that up. There's still a little mat by the front door. Got to watch out, he doesn't use that as a toilet pad. And the one at this end of the house, at the end of the kitchen, he did actually use that very, very quickly as a little toileting area. So we've rolled that one up and taken it away. Here's a baby gate. Consider using baby gates. They're fantastic for allowing air to flow through the house. If it's hot in the summer, people can step over them. Um, they're like a temporary barrier. You can't get through them. It's not forever. It's just whilst you're toileting in, um, toilet training him. All these areas he's allowed into. Um, that you're looking at now, but not down this corridor. So this door is always kept shut, or we put the baby gate in that place, or he's in his penned or crate, penned area, when we open that door. And here's his pack. Here's Peanut, who looks after him. She monitors the situation. And here's his uh, nanny, Inca. Inca's, uh, Ninka, Inca the nanny. She does a great job. And he's allowed into these areas on this wooden floor, but only when we've got what I call the mind space. If you're in a rush and you can't keep an eye on him, and you haven't taken him out for toilets, don't take him out. Leave him in his penned area or his crated area, I would. You've got to be thinking about controlling him, controlling his environment, and controlling his little bladder, and making sure it's empty, and that you're not setting him up to fail. So back to the big decision of how I came to the, the choice of putting him here. First of all, I had to decide that I want to use a crate or a pen or neither or both. I decided I'd go with both just to show you sort of the advantages of using them. There's advantages and disadvantages of everything. The beauty of a crate is, uh, you know, you can close that little door there, sort of areas within areas. So it's very easy to control his whereabouts. Um, the decision on where to put him there were other options. As I said, we could have put down a tarpaulin, and for some people that's the only option. It's all carpeted, the whole house. You could have put a tarpaulin down on that rug and protected it that way. Or here's a lino. A lot of people have small laundries, um, washroom areas. Um, there's actually a tarpaulin underneath this carpet here, which, as I say, we could have rolled up the entire carpet and rug to keep it safe. And you put it down, you know, within maybe four months when he's six months old and toilet trained. But uh, he's got this entire area of wooden floor, which is very easy, easy to mop up any uh, mistakes and, uh, that we make, forgetting to take him out in time. But going back to this um, lino area, it's a fantastic area. There's a few wires there which aren't great. You could, you'd have to set him up, uh, protect him from those. And uh, the cat flap, you'd have to watch out for that. But this is a fine, a great area for, a, for somebody who wanted a, a secure, safe place. You could put a baby gate up there and you'd only let him out when you felt you could monitor him and keep an eye on him so he didn't make any mistakes. So overall, as you can see, it's about setting up areas within areas so you can keep an eye on him. And you really let him out when you've got the mind space and the time to keep an eye on him, keep track of him, and make sure that everything works out well. If you're interested in puppy training, in Project Moses, and in keeping um, track of his progress, then check out the onlinedogtrainer.com video website.